Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the eyedropper tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. The purpose of the eyedropper tool is to take a sample of color from a picture or image in Photoshop. To find the tool, we go up to Window and click on Tools to open the Tools window or the Tools palette. If you don't already have an image open, go to File, New to create a new file, or go to File, Open to open an existing file from your hard drive. I'm using this picture of the castle here. The eyedropper tool is located a third from the top on the right hand side in the tools window. It may be hiding behind the color sampler tool, the ruler tool, the note tool, or the count tool. If it is, simply left click and hold down and you will see this menu appear and you can select the one right at the top, the eyedropper tool. The keyboard shortcut for the eyedropper tool is I, meaning if I'm using another tool and I want to use the eyedropper tool, simply by hitting the letter I on my keyboard, I will be taken back to the eyedropper tool. This is how it works. I can click anywhere on this picture, say for instance this blue area here, and you will notice that my foreground color changes to the color that I select. You will see it has gone to a blue now. We can select white here. And uh, Photoshop just added this neat new feature in uh, CS5 where it, sh you, uh, it shows you a selection of your previous selection. So at the top there you will see um, the blue semicircle. When I go over here and select something that's gray, I will see the last selection I made, which is was that blue, and I will see the current selection, which is the gray of this castle. So that's the eyedropper tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.